The KMS Emden is the first German light cruiser and proof that Gage Eagles hasn't the faintest clue how to balance anything. This thick floating schnitzel sits at a battle rating of 5.0 and is the only ship at tier 4 actually worth a damn. The KMS Emden may not be fast, nor have the best anti-aircraft, but the main battery guns are the perfect combination of size, numbers, rate of fire, and damage to allow you to single-handedly bitch slap entire teams in only a couple of salvos. In addition, your lack of speed is easily made up for with something that no other ship in the game can claim to have. And that's armor tougher than Grand Admiral Tirpitz's beard. While not as thick as other ships with an identity crisis, the layout of the Emden makes this thing nearly unkillable by gunfire from any angle but the front. Since none of the other cruisers or destroyers use solid armor piercing, the layout of the Emden's armor into angled layers means you will almost always stop APHE rounds from reaching your citadel components. However, the floating donor kebab is not a cheap ship to play, so if you're poor as fuck, and afraid of losing money then go play a ship you can self-destruct in all you want. This is how you play the suicide sausage. You load as much base HE as you can with more HE on top of it cause artificial limits on upgraded shells. Tell your secondaries to go commit toaster bath, and click the rape enemy team button. Since you have a limited number of base HE, don't waste your ammo firing at shit you can't hit. Instead, use your superior crop still turtle back armor to simply not give the slightest fucking bum rush the enemy team. Once you get to the battle, angle the fuck out of your ship from a 45 to 30 degree angle, and dunk on underage boats who are dumb enough to fight you. Gotcha, bitch. If you're wondering about long swimmy boys, the G78 torpedoes are average with good firing angles, but you only have 4 of them. Also keep an eye out for sneaky boys in PT boats or aircraft carrying torpedoes. Your anti-aircraft is okay, but you lack anti-aircraft shells so it's down to your 20 and 40mm cannons to deal with them. For crew skills focus on crew interchangeability, leadership, ship control, and damage control skills. For modifications focus on getting base HE to obliterate enemy destroyers, rudder replacement to allow for ripped off torpedo mems, and shrapnel protection to protect against base HE rape. Parts and FP come stock now on big boys so don't worry about it. Now you know how to German bias. Get out there, and remember that Germany suffers.